Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm uh, going to cover out a few tips and tricks for the CNC router, as well as um, talk a little bit about what I've come up with. So, because I posted a video having some issues uh, a little bit earlier on this week, so I uh, kind of want to follow that up and do some uh, tips and tricks. So, anyways, uh, let's start with the problem. So, I was having a problem with the the garble closing the port now what i did do is i switched to linux so so let me share a little bit what i did in the past with the problem so the problem was the port on between the computer and the garble or arduino kept closing about midway through a long run or, or maybe the first 25 percent of a long run so i tried three different computers two different laptops a desktop. I tried multiple OS's, Windows XP, Windows 7. Um, I tried different cables. Yes, I did all the power management stuff. Uh, checked the settings of Garble. Checked the settings of the stuff on there. Uh, had the problem with not only um, uh, G code, I mean Garble controller. However, also Chili Pepper and Easel. So now I installed. Um, Linux, uh, the Debian installation on one of the laptops that I had used and I ran this most of the day and I only saw the problem once. Uh, so it didn't, to didn't totally 100% go away. However, to be honest, I can't qualify that it's the exact same problem uh, because I'm using Universal G-Code Sender on Linux. So I don't get to see the console. The only thing I know is it froze mid job so I have had that happen uh, in the past uh, it did not repeat itself though I, I went on I restarted it and cut a whole bunch more stuff this thing has been running for numerous hours today um, so I, it is sort of something that I sort of expected something in the Windows driver in the USB so uh, anyways if I was real ambitious, I'd snoop the USB port, blah, 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 but I'm not going to waste the time. Linux works just fine, and, and probably I should have just gave in and, and did that in the first place. So, um, Also, you, you know, for those that might be a little bit uh, concerned with Linux, um, you know, really don't be. Uh, you know, th there's using it for your daily desktop or whatever, and then using it to control machines. I highly recommend Linux over Windows for machine control full stop and, and I do know a little bit of what, what I'm talking about in the back in the olden days I used to program Allen Bradley PLC 3's um, I've done a lot of SCADA systems in my time uh, I've done a lot of high-end plant and BIM control systems so a POSIX based real-time kernel uh, beats Windows uh, you know every day for that kind of application so anyways I, I rambled enough on that you get the idea so uh, and, and it's that with the newer uh, distributions like Debian, you know, you have a lot of the same look and feel of Windows with file management and that, so it's not that bad. So, anyways, if you're thinking about it, give it a shot, invest the time, it's worth it. Um, on to tips. So, one of the things, I've been cutting a lot of this mail mine for another project. So, one of the things that I decided to do, and, and yes, up front, I know this is sort of not the best having it too, but the, this is basically just cutting out pieces you know sort of you know again like this it's just not really you know perfect stuff so I'm really not caring so and, and the biggest thing is I, I want to punch all the way through the board so I want to have this little gap down here so one of the things that I did do is I did make up these clamps uh, I'm going to modify it a little bit but you can get the idea so anyways this is what it looks like so I did um, basically two cut out. This is three quarter inch material. So I cut out a quarter and I cut out 0.375 here. And I've got a center track in here that that I use because when I originally built this machine many moons ago, I had a vice out of one. I technically still have it. A, a vice and a jig that that locks into the center rail um, to cut. You know, I, I built it for a specific reason at the time, and I no longer use it for that. So, um, but anyways, uh, what I did, and and now this sits in here, 
and I just kind of squirted that up. I'm not going to do that. It doesn't waste your time doing that, but you'll, you'll get the idea. What I am going to do is I'm going to laser cut a pad to put in here to prevent a little bit of this, this cantilevering here. That and I'm not sure if that's even, but you get the idea. So I'm going to do that. Um, however, it holds it tight, which is really, really cool. So, uh, Again, I didn't line it up very well here. I gave myself a little extra room, so I'll push it up against the, the blocks and then tighten it up. There, that looks a little nicer. And it holds it really well, and it's quick change, too, because what I was doing is uh, drilling a, a quarter-inch hole, putting these bolts through, setting it on top of these pads I 3D printed, and I said, what the heck, why don't I just do this? And it actually works pretty good. So. Uh, maybe a little tip or trick if you're going to be cutting out a lot of material like this. I do a lot of um, thicker material like this uh, just to kind of knock it out, uh, and it works actually pretty good. Um, because one of the things I'd actually, you know, I'd like to do is build the the three foot long or the meter long shape Oco or X car uh, and go for bigger material. Because that's mostly where I use this, you know, because on smaller stuff, 3D printer wins hands down. It's only when you get to the big stuff that you want to cut out something that, that you run into, you know, challenges. Because obviously, unless you're Joe Telling with a bunch of uh, G-Maxes, <laughs> it's hard to print out uh, something that big. So this is where I, you know, the CNC is sort of my go-to. Love you, Joel, even with the G-Maxes. Um, the other piece that uh, I, I wanted to share is this scotch tape that I found. And I'll see about putting a link below. Um, this stuff is really cool. So, uh, unfortunately, I got it here in America, obviously. Uh, so it's in an imperial or English measurement, so inches. I am going to look for a metric version of this. I prefer a metric version. However, I use this stuff all the time for aligning stuff. And then you can just rip it up and, and throw it away. One of the things I, I want to show, and I'm going to have to move you to do it, is, is I have it set up on the side of the router over here. And I can use that for indexing the, the z-axis. Now, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, 7 and 9. It doesn't mean anything. These are just two 2-inch two pieces that I have lined up. And then, you know, if I want to measure how much I'm turning, how much I've moved the axis, you know. Okay, so, you know, there's an eighth. You know, there's a quarter. And then, you know, I can run it down to a half. And so it works really good. It also works good for... Um, uh, you know, setting up, um, you know, the garble, steps per inch, and all that kind of stuff. So, this has been real handy. I also use it on the laser cutter to align stuff, and I also use it on the bed, you know, on, on like this, to lay down a piece of tape, align, you know, my cuts that I want to make repeated cuts off of, you know, so I can run it along the, the length here, the width, and then, um, you know, like for example, I was cutting these out every so many inches. So yeah, I could do it one single file and put maybe ten of them. Uh, but that just, I was using kind of scrap material, so I was just indexing off of it. And I could use tape like this to say, because these are two inches, so every three inches I could mark off, just move the head to every three inches and cut. So anyways, I but I use this all the time for just a bunch of different tasks, so very handy. It's a little bit pricey. I think it was like five bucks for this roll, but it's lasted me quite a while, so um, not not too horrific. And again, it sticks pretty good, so it's stuck on here for a while. Um, so again, if you're looking for something like this, this is the way to go. So, anyways, that's uh, about the end of my ramble today or my update. So, uh, anyways, hey, if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up. Even if you didn't, and you like me, give it a thumbs up. Even if you don't like me, give it a thumbs up. Hey, I appreciate it. Uh, also subscribe so uh, uh, you get all the updates to my channel a lot more stuff I'm, I'm try, trying to you know again kind of make the loop between 3d printing um, CNC laser cutting that's really what I want to focus this channel on is sort of the triad of those um, so anyways keep watching and, and again I have more stuff on the Wanho I'm still looking for time to jailbreak the um, Da Vinci's so I just haven't had the time to do that also been making some updates to the shop so just a lot of stuff going on plus obviously demanding day job on top of that to pay for all this stuff so anyways again thumbs up subscribe see you in the next video Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects